Hi everyone, Mike Brown back with you with another lesson in Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 from Educator.com. We looked at how to make a very high quality and impressive photo book that can be printed by an outside printer such as Shutterfly and give you a super quality piece that you can use either as a gift, as a uh, coffee table book, or even better, as a promotional piece and your portfolio because the quality of the book itself sets the stage for the quality of the images you have within. Beautiful way to do it. Another way to represent yourself is to send out or give away calendars. So in this lesson I'm going to show you how to create a photo calendar. Also a very nice gift. We're going to go over organizing your images for the calendar, calendar layout options, the calendar workspace where you're actually going to set this up, adjusting and modifying images, and customizing the calendar's appearance. This is virtually the same procedure as doing the photo book. So if you've already gone over the photo book lessons, it's still worthwhile doing this lesson because it's a review of some of the techniques and it burns it into your memory and makes it much easier. And besides, the calendar is very cool. So let's go and take a look at how to create a photo calendar. Let's go to the organizer. And here's my folder for calendar picks. I've got 14 picks that are in here. And if you remember, in the folders, you cannot rearrange the order of the images. You'd have to have them set up already in a proper order. Uh, these I'd like to rearrange. So what we need to do is take these images and turn it into an album where you can shift things around. So there's two ways to do this. You can, we, in this case, we have all of the images we want, so we're going to select all of them. We can click on the thumbnail and select the first one. Shift, click, and select all of the other ones, and now they're all selected. So now all you have to do is click on the plus icon for the album, and go to New Album, and you'll see that since they were selected prior to doing that, they're already in the album. You title it, put a category, click OK. You see I have one all up here. So we can do Cancel. So instead we'll show you the other way. If you don't select them in advance, do the plus sign, New Album, and now it says drag and drop items to the bin. So you'll highlight the first one, shift, click to highlight them all, go into a thumbnail, click and drag the group, and now you have them in. Either do it in advance or doing it after. Again, name them, select your category, click OK. So I've got, at this moment, an album with 12 images in here. I want to add one more image. There's an easy way to do this. Go to your folder with the calendar picks, and this particular item here, the vertical shot of the California Lighthouse, I want to add it. So you don't have to go through the importing process. You already got it in in the folder. Just grab it and drag it over until it, the bar highlights the calendar photos album. Release. And now we'll go to that photo album and look. It came in at the tail end. All right, we need to do a little bit of adjustment here. Now, the very first photo will be the title page, the opener of the calendar. So I'm going to leave that one there. January is right here, and it's snowy. February, March, April, May, June, July. I'd like to put this one in about May or June. The flowers are out, so we'll go May. April, January, February, March, April, May flowers. We'll drag it over, and you notice that in the album, we can reposition all of our images. Let's see if everything else looks pretty good. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, so now we've got our album ready to go with the items we need for the calendar. So we're going to select them in advance. Sh click the first one, shift click the other ones. We've got them all selected. Go to the Create button. We'll go down to Photo Calendar. And it's going to come up with the calendar layout page. We get to pick the starting month and year. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and put January 2014. We're ready to go. You have one option, print locally. These can be printed on your desktop printer. How cool is that? So you get two-sided paper, and you can actually print your own calendar. Or you could go to an outside printer, such as Shutterfly, and have them do it as well. A little more costly. This will work quite well. So here we have our themes, pretty much the same themes, almost identical to what you saw 
in the photo book. We're going to go ahead with this designer modern. I'll highlight it. You get a quick preview of what it's going to look like. And it's a single image per page. And we like that. We can change the layout, no problem, as we go along. All calendars can be printed on your printer. Autofill with selected images. That's why I selected them in the album first. We'll click OK.